Happy Friday, everybody. It's the moment that you've all been waiting for. We are here uh, in the Adventum Illinois YouTube channel for another edition of Friday Fact, Fiction, and Fuzzy. And we are very pleased to have the Superintendent of Schools in Harvard District 50 up in McHenry County, Dr. Corey Tafoya. Corey, how are you, sir? Wonderful. Uh, beautiful sunny day. Um, good to talk to you guys. It's great to have you, Corey. And uh, for those of you who don't know, right, the point of this little segment is something that is a fact in Corey's district, something that's a fiction that he learned to be uh, untrue recently, and then a fuzzy, something that made him feel good. So Corey, we'll start out with a fact. Uh, those that know me well know that uh, I talk a lot about um, a couple things, attitude and expectations. And one of the things that I think is a fact through all the craziness we're going through is that your attitude is always way more influential than the circumstances around you. And I think this has been so revealed to me by interactions with people that are really thriving in this environment and those that are just, that it's really a more hard to figure out every solution that, that they find. So I've always found that if you kind of are looking for the, the solutions and you're positive and you're your approach is positive. It's more about your approach and even the circumstances. And we couldn't find ourselves in more horrible circumstances than we are right now. But yeah, we've got people that are thriving and it's, it's really a thrill to do that. So it's kind of reaffirmed to me that uh, when you're positive and you find uh, solutions and you can praise other people and you show gratitude for all the things that, um, that are in your life, you're going to be excelling. And those people uh, are not comfortable right now because no one necessarily likes this, but they're, they're not as bad off as some others might be. So really, it's not what happens, but uh, how we respond. It's a, exactly. a great... Uh, Spindel, right? That's, uh, exactly, exactly. So let's move to fiction, Corey. What's something that uh, you found to be not true uh, during this time? Well, uh, if you flat, go back 12 months and you think about maybe some of your own days, uh, kids hate school. Oh, kids hate school. It's miserable. I think if you are around any kids right now, you know they they don't hate school. They miss school. They miss their friends. They miss their teachers. They miss their sports. They miss all the interactions. Chess club, being in the play, the solo, my saxophone sectional guys, uh, the band when we got ready to go out for the foot, all these things. Kids don't hate school. They love school. They love being with their friends. They love learning. Kids are so curious. I, I just... I'm fascinated by the things that my own 13 year old finds to be curious about. He was telling me about how rockets were made the other day. He was just curious and found on YouTube. So kids don't hate school, but what they hate and what I think we'll have to remember when we return is how to not go back to school, but how to go back to learning. Because right now there's a lot of learning I think going on because we have to find interesting pathways um, to find that opportunity to get to something they're curious about and something they're gonna learn. And that I think is not necessarily what we think of as school. So let's, when we get back, let's make it about learning because that's really what is. Um, the old expression is uh, school is where kids go to watch teachers work. Uh, let's not go back and watch uh, teachers working. Let's, let's work together and find how we learn. That's that to me. But I, I think if you think kids hate school, this is shown you're wrong. And boy, when uh, our kids come back, I think they'll all be dancing. That's great. All right, so so kind of thinking along those lines as, as we move forward um, and, and even as we reflect now, what's something that's, you know, what a, a warm and fuzzy, something that you really have seen as a, um, just something you like to share about your district? Well, I know this is supposed to be a quick segment, so, uh, but I could go on a long time about so many things here in Harvard, but the, the first thing I would just have to say is just how well our staff has reacted to this. I just admire them. I was on a call with one of our uh, fourth grade PE teachers the other day, they, the class one of thing, and I worked with them. They did all these facts about things, and here I was in my office doing some of their PE with them. I was doing burpees and all the things in my suit in the <laughs> office, and I think the people across the street that look in that, oh, he's finally lost his mind. The boy is <laughs> totally gone. He's, he's out. But I was working, and so the creativity of, you know, talking about that my favorite um, animal was a moose and they were talking about you know how to reach and they were doing these really uh, physical activities based on some of my favorite things. And I just, teachers blow me away and just the sweetness of the kids to appreciate how hard it is, uh, is fantastic. But the thing that probably 
leads to that that I'm probably the most fuzzy about is all the things that we tried to do to initiate and our staff here in Harvard said, yeah, I think that works. PLCs, all of the technology things we had, um, all of our ability to use curriculum and tools like Adminum to kind of meet kids where they're at, all those things, if we hadn't had the, I guess, the courage of our staff to try new things and innovate, this whole experience would have been 10 times worse than it is. And granted, it's hard on everyone, but if we hadn't had all those things, uh, our community support wouldn't be where it is right now. And we're the beneficiaries of a lot of goodwill from our community because of the things that our staff willingly said, yeah, let's try that. And now more than ever, PLCs are, are critical in how we work, knowing our curriculum, all those things that we work so hard to do. If we didn't have those in place, we'd be really hurting right now. So I'm super proud of um, what the innovation has allowed us to do to survive these days. Awesome. <clears throat> Well, just remember, uh, Corey, burpees hate you too. So uh, <laughs> good. That, that, that's uh, it's, it's fair. You know, it would have been a little bit better if I hadn't already done them that morning at the gym. So it was like oh a wow, double, 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 two You're days impressive. back, back to impressive high fight right. fighting the uh, COVID fifteen there. So uh, so <laughs> so thanks so much, uh, Corey, uh, for your your time today for uh, for this edition of Friday Fact uh, Fiction and Fuzzy, and uh, we will see everyone next time. Thanks a lot. Great, great to talk to you guys. Thanks. Thanks, Corey.